How to Start House Flipping in 8 Steps You must know the essential steps before you start flipping houses. This will increase your odds of success and reduce your financial risk. Here are 7 steps you can take to start flipping houses. 1. Know your neighborhood. Before getting started, you need to spend some time researching the real estate market and choosing the right location to invest in. It's a good idea to work with a real estate agent who can advise you throughout this home buying process. Once you find a home you're interested in purchasing, it's a good idea to bring in a general contractor to assess the property. This will help you come up with an estimate of how much work needs to be done and whether the house still fits within your budget. 2. Use the 70% rule to plan your budget. The 70% rule is commonly cited among real estate investors in regards to the purchase price. This rule states that an investor should only pay 70% of the after-repair value ARV, of a property minus the necessary repairs. The ARV is what the home is worth after it has been fully renovated. For instance, let's say the AVR of a home is $200,000 and it needs $25,000 in repairs. So 70% of the AVR is $140,000, and when you subtract the repairs, that leaves a total of $115,000. Ideally, you won't pay more than $115,000 for that home. 3. Assess your skill set. Certain skill sets will make you more successful as a house flipper. For instance, knowledge of construction, real estate, and design are good skills to have. It's okay if you don't have those skill sets yourself, but that means you need to know how to find the professionals who do. Before you begin flipping houses, you should assemble a team of experts who can assist you. This could be lenders, real estate agents, insurance agents, and contractors who help you find, fix, and sell a property. 4. Build your team. However many professionals you pull into your network, there are a few different job types you'll want to be certain you include. Even if you choose to do the projects yourself, these different professions will have specific skill sets and knowledge to tap into and learn from, if not invest in their services regularly. CBA. A certified public accountant can keep your business on track financially. Before you can begin your business, it's worthwhile to talk to a CPA to help set up a sound financial business structure and plan. The CPA can ensure that your case has the necessary federal ID numbers and other tax information to get started and begin seeking financing. CPAs can help register your business and determine how it will be handled financially as either a partnership, sole proprietorship, limited liability company, an LLC, or a C or S corp. The different types of businesses offer different advantages depending on how many owners a company has and how much liability will be assumed per owner. These details are largely related to tax codes and how the company's registry with the IRS. When it comes to flipping houses, the CPA will work with you regularly on applicable tax laws relating to the properties. They will have to be aware of both federal and state laws in regard to home restoration and flipping homes, as well as any local taxes or fee requirements. Lawyer A lawyer is key to setting up a business the right way. They offer the requisite legal services to establish a business plan, appropriate licensing, articles of organization, and register your business with the necessary state and federal agencies. This includes filing for tax ID and other financial issues, which may have them working with your CPA. While this documentation can be done online by yourself without the extra costs, it's still best to consult with a professional. Hiring a lawyer can protect your personal assets from your business liability risks. It's important to start your business off correctly, make sure all potential loopholes are tended to right up front, and lawyers have the experience to anticipate potential problems. Real Estate Attorney Once you have the business established, a lawyer obviously is there for any future problems that arise. That's why it's a good idea to find a lawyer who specializes in property use and contracts. Contracts, billing, zoning, and other land use issues can end up in legal limbo for months or years that would potentially tie up a property to either delay a purchase or prevent a sale. A good real estate attorney is able to handle any liability, pricing, permit, and title problems that may arise. Lenders There's more to funding the cost to flip a house than just having the purchase money ready up front. Flipping houses requires a significant, possibly long-term financial investment to purchase a property for home restoration. If you don't have the cash in hand to spend, borrowing through a lending or financing arrangement is a good way to get started. Look for private business partners such as other property owners with available real estate or joint venture partnerships with financial institutions. Stick with the lenders who can work within your project timelines 
and make sure you are well informed of all rates, fees, and obligations before you agree to financial terms. A good member of your team is a familiar loan officer with your preferred financing source. A loan officer will help process paperwork, accumulate records, and see your loan applications through to the approval. Build a reliable working relationship with your lending team so they can get you the best deals. Financing can reduce the risk to your personal assets, so you won't lose your own home trying to get started flipping houses. With the right financing source, it's possible to purchase and work with multiple fix and flip projects at once rather than one at a time. Real estate agent. When learning how to flip homes, it's very helpful to make friends with real estate agents. Flipping houses requires interacting with real estate agents at different stages of every project, from buying the property to flipping it and selling it. These agents know the trends, from what features their clients are looking for, to the price range a home will sell for, depending on neighborhood. Agents are a good source of information for planning a timeline to flip a house after the repairs, in addition to offering leads on where to find good properties to be bought and flipped. Some real estate agents specialize in properties available through bank foreclosures and short sales, which are excellent opportunities for fix and flip homes. The right agent will make buying and selling houses to flip a much more streamlined process. General Contractors the general contractor is the member of your team who runs the rehab or restoration of the home. They'd assess what work needs done and work with you or the architect or designer to determine a timeline for the remodel, and then they make sure the work is done. Professionals can deal with a variety of home construction problems or prevent them and should have the expertise to recognize problems that others may miss. It's important to hire someone who can do the work effectively, quickly, and cost efficiently. The general contractor is also in charge of arranging for all of the work on a home restoration project, which could include hiring any of the following subcontractors, carpenter, plumber, electrician, roofer, drywall installer, window installer, flooring installer, cabinet maker. Home flipping experts to look for. There are many professionals you'll work with regularly as you build your career flipping houses. While the basic team above are people you'll see quite often and will want to build a solid working relationship with, there are others who will be needed depending on the demands of the project. It's a good idea to know a few of these experts as well. Architects. Architects create blueprints and detail renovation plans up to code to pass inspections and obtain necessary permits within your project budget and timeline. Insurance agent. Whether busy with contractors working with power tools or while standing empty, houses should be insured. The policies and requirements will change from area to area, and an insurance agent helps you navigate the best policies to protect your investment. Inspectors and permit expeditors, inspectors and permit expeditors help keep your home flipping projects up to code. They're usually from a background in inspection and code enforcement and know what permits will be required at what stages to prevent mandatory corrections post inspection. Some general contractors can offer this advantage as well. Retail supplier. With multiple houses, there will be a lot of building materials to buy and you'll have to organize predictable delivery to meet the demands of your schedule. Retail suppliers, like Build.com, will often have customer care agents for professionals to buy in bulk or at discounted prices for your home restoration projects. Staging company. Staging a property means partially furnishing a home in order to make it more attractive to buyers. This can flip the house faster and at a higher asking price than homes without. Hiring a staging company gives you access to an interior design wizard with furniture and decor on hand to boost the home to showroom-ready status. Title and Escrow Company A title company can provide a variety of services from legal issues with titles or tenant rights to short sales in estate or probate matters. These agencies research and protect the titles of properties, as well as handle the transfer paperwork. They also facilitate sales, including holding the earnest money. Wholesalers and Private Owners Wholesalers are investors who buy up distressed and reduced rate properties for the express purpose of selling to buyers interested in flipping houses. Like private owners, they have the property available and are good resources to start with when locating a home to flip. 5. Finance your project. The next step is to figure out how you'll finance your project. If you don't have cash on hand to put toward the project, then you'll want to get pre-approved for a loan. To do this, you'll need a good credit score and the bank may require a 20% down payment or some type of collateral. Six, decide on and buy your house. Finding the right property is one of the most challenging aspects of flipping a house. 
That's because you can't just think about how much the house costs right now. You have to consider the potential resale value to ensure the highest profit margin. Foreclosed, distressed, and fixer-upper homes are all good options to consider. But you'll want to use a real estate agent and contractor to help you understand the extent of the work that needs to be done. Once you've found the right property, you can make an offer and close on the house. If the house is a really great deal, you can expect to have some competition from other potential buyers. Make sure you know what the maximum amount is you can pay for that house and still remain profitable. 7. Build Sweat Equity If you're new to house flipping and hell low budget, you can save yourself some money buying building sweat equity. This refers to the unpaid labor you'll put into the project, either in terms of physical labor or mental effort. Many entrepreneurs find that in the beginning, sweat equity is a necessary aspect of building a successful business. It's what gives them the resources they need to keep the momentum to keep going. 8. Flip the house. Once the repairs have been completed, it's time to resell the house. At this point, time's of the essence because the longer that home sits on the market, the less of a profit you'll make. So your goal should be to make improvements quickly and sell the house as fast as you can. You'll want to work with a real estate agent to help you list the house. Real estate agents can list the house in the Multiple Listing Service, MLS database. They also understand market fluctuations and can help you determine the right resale price. Cost of flipping a house. The cost of flipping a house will vary based on the acquisition costs, repairs, and the time it takes to complete the sale. Let's look at a brief overview of what you can expect to spend on flipping a house. Your financial investment. Buying and flipping a house is all about doing the math. You want to know that at the end of all of it, you'll earn a profit that will make the time and money spent worth it. And it's not just the initial cost of buying the home and renovating it that you'll need to account for. House flippers should be prepared for the following expenses. Down payment. Home inspection fees. Property taxes. Insurance payments. Closing costs. Utility costs. Marketing costs. Real estate agent fees. Your time investment. Of course, buying and flipping a house is more than just a financial investment. It also requires a significant investment of your time. The time it really takes will vary depending on the size and scope of the project. If everything goes according to plan, you can expect to spend a minimum of 6 to 12 weeks on the process of buying and flipping a home. However, if the remodeling process gets delayed or you need approval from a third party to buy the property, this process could get delayed by several months. Is flipping houses right for you? Is flipping houses the right business model for you? Check out the following chart to understand some of the pros and cons of flipping houses. Pros. Cons. Potential to make a huge profit. Potential to lose money on investment. Great for people with high skill levels. May require costly outside help and support. Less risky than other types of real estate investing. Requires intense planning and budgeting. Gain useful real estate experience. Unanticipated costs can arise and they could be substantial. Gain greater insights into your local market. Requires in-depth knowledge of the local real estate industry. The bottom line, flipping houses 101. If you go into it with the right plan and have carefully considered the financial details, house flipping can be a viable business option. However, you will not likely see overnight success from this strategy, and you may make many mistakes and lose money along the way. The right team of experts can make this process much easier. Make sure to work with a qualified real estate agent who can give you insights into the local market and help you understand the types of homes buyers are looking for. And a good general contractor can help you evaluate a house's current condition. This will help you avoid investing in a money pit. And of course, you'll need to consider your financing needs ahead of time. The right type of loan and interest rate can make it easier for you to improve and flip a house. If you're interested in learning what kind of home loan you might qualify for, the first step is to start the mortgage process. 